When rain falls on the land, some of it is absorbed by the ground and allows plants to grow. But a lot more runs off onto driveways and streets, into ditches and creeks, rivers and streams, and carries the water to bays and bayous and into the Gulf of Mexico. This is the path of the watershed. But more than water runs off through the watershed, the byproducts of the human population, like garbage, fertilizer, and animal waste, are carried downstream, polluting the aquatic ecosystem that supports life. What we do on the land affects all of life in the water. We all need to become caretakers of our world to ensure a healthy future for all of us on our unique blue-green home in space. Now there was a good summary of how humans can and do impact their watershed. Now I know you want your quizzes back from yesterday. You can see uh, they've been graded and clearly some of you have done a great job with this material. Others of you still have a lot to work on. Don't forget you're to be working on your project on the problems to the watershed and how to correct these problems. Um, I know you've been asking also about your partners for this. So at the top of your quiz you'll find the name of the person you're assigned to work with. No changing partners, okay? Everybody have a great weekend. You're dismissed for the day. Don't forget your project. Work on these problems. Eutrophication, hypoxia, nutrient loading, and non-point source pollution. Have a great weekend. Hello? Zach, this is Kelsey. Uh, hey, what's up? Well, aren't you ready to do our project? Um, right now, I'm busy. What do you mean busy? I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. And then you left before I could even get your number. I had to get it from Mr. Rambo. Look, do you want to enjoy your weekend, or do you just want to do a bunch of work? I mean, come on, Kelsey. Of course I want to enjoy my weekend. But we can do that after we finish the project. Do you even know what the project is about? I think I should quiz you to see what you know. Fine. Quiz me. What are two nutrients? Not that one. Nitrogen and phosphorus. And where can you find them? Um... Zach, never mind. Here's an easy one. What is a watershed? A. The water that collects around storage buildings. That was Mr. Rambo's joke answer. It's C. The area of land from which all the water drains to a single river, stream, creek, or bayou. Look, you don't even live near the water, so why do you even care about this project? And you're smart. You're getting no, back in the No, you need to help me. You know what? I don't even need your help. You can just ride your stupid scooter and get an F on Monday, and I'll do the project by myself. Heads up to the door. Hey, man, that was a lucky roll, Jimbo. Lucky he didn't land in this water like us. Man, look at that. We done caught ourselves a human being. Here's our chance. We got a captive audience. You all right, kid? You're, you're a fish. I'm a red fish out of water. Shoo, me too. I've been swimming with Jimbo's school all over these waters, searching for a place where we can breathe. Thibodeau and I are out to enlighten human beings, so we're gonna stick our fins out a little to tell you about what life is really like in this water. You're gonna tell me? Okay. Yeah, you. You from the land, and we don't think you really know what's going on. You know, it's not so great down here. Look, I know this is strange to you, son, but you need to listen up. It's a redfish tale, but it's true. Yeah. It's strange. Strange or not, how would you like to live in this water? I can't breathe in water. We, we can't, can't breathe, breathe in, in this, this water. water. But y'all are fish. I thought y'all breathed in oxygen from the water or something like that. Yeah, we do breathe in oxygen from the water when there is enough oxygen in that water. But we're having problems because you human beings are fouling it up, making the oxygen disappear. Did you know a fish could asphyxiate, boy? Asphyxiate? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Is asphyxiate the right word? Well, yes. The oxygen is gone because of excess nutrients, and because of that, there's not enough. So, yes, Thibodeau, asphyxiate is the correct word. What about you? What you know about nutrients? Well, I've heard of them. We talked about them at school a few days ago. Yeah, so did we. At school? School, get it? A little fish humor. You're catching on. You're hooked. You're in the net. Look, you're gonna have to excuse Jimbo. He's a little long in the scales. You see, Zack, Thibodeau here has some hard feelings about human beings, given the delicate situation of the environment and all. You see, nutrients are a big part of our life. All living things need nutrients to live. But down here, in the water, well, there's just too many. You see, the things you humans do, like using fertilizer to keep your pretty grass green, help your food grow, those things increase the amount of nutrients in the water. Because fertilizer is made up of nitrogen and phosphorus, it makes plants grow, and that's good. But if too much is put on the ground, or at the wrong time, like just before it rains, it gets into the watershed, and that ends up here. And another big, big problem is mm, animal waste. Animal waste? He means poop. Nope, oh, Thibodeau. Hmm, pardon me. Animal waste contains a lot of nutrients, too just in a different and slightly smelly form. And that poo, well, it can get picked up and carried into our habitat just like this garbage. The rain that falls and the water that flows out of sprinklers and hoses has got to go somewhere, right? Well, that's called runoff. Runoff, get it? Because it's running off of the land. Yeah, but since human beings can't see nutrients because they're dissolved and invisible in the water, a lot of people don't think it's pollution. But man, they wrong, because too many nutrients are just as bad or even worse for us as this garbage. Wait, I thought you said nutrients were a good thing. Yeah, but in the right amount. Look, I'm going to take a step back here and talk about the watershed by looking at the big picture from the sky. It all begins way up north with the creeks, streams, and rivers which are made up of fresh water, which you humans like to drink. And all of that fresh water flows into larger bodies of water like the Gulf of Mexico, which is salty. The mixture of the two is called brackish yeah, water. Yeah, brackish water. Anything in the water, garbage, mud, and nutrients, too, flows into the estuaries and then to the Gulf of Mexico. Woo-hoo! Home sweet home. So, once this stuff gets into the water, then what happens? Having so many nutrients in the water causes eutrophication. Eutrophication. You got that? Eutrophication? Do you know what algae are? They're tiny little plants that little animals like to eat, right? Bingo! And these tiny plants go crazy when all these nutrients come their way. They grow and multiply and all of a sudden there are too, too many algae for the little animals. Algae don't live long and if there are too many that haven't been eaten, when they die, they sink to the bottom and decompose. This process of decomposition uses the oxygen that all sea life needs to survive. Water without enough oxygen is called hypoxic, and water with no oxygen is called anoxic, which is bad. So if we want to survive, we need to go somewhere else. Yeah, somewhere we can live, because I bet if you lived in this water, your gills couldn't handle it. And you know, these hypoxic episodes happen all over the world. And these concentrated areas that experience hypoxia are called dead zones because there isn't enough oxygen in the water for life to survive there at all. So where are two handsome fish to go if we are run out of our home? We're environmental refugees. And the sad thing is we kind of stuck unless all you things with feet 
Well, get off your flippers and change your ways. Now, certainly there's a more delicate way to say that, Thibodeau. Hmm, no, I can't think of one. Look, y'all got to do something up there. But uh, all the stuff you're talking about, I don't think I can do anything about it. I mean... What do you mean you don't think you can do anything? Are you or aren't you a human being? Yeah. So, as a human being, you can do a lot. You can start by telling people what's going on in the water and how to solve this problem. Like, make a video for my class and put it online so everyone can see it. Well, yes, that's a great idea. There's plenty to do, and you can do a lot if you care about what happens to the environment. Because there is only so much water on this planet, so you have to start taking care of it. Yeah, because I like to drink water. And so do and we. swim in it. And so do we. And go shrimping. <laughs> Man, yeah. And I can do my project about fertilizer and pet poo. Aye. That's good, because we can't keep living like this. And we're not telling you to get rid of your pet or stop growing food. You just have to find ways to keep it from flowing into our home. You need to tell your best friend and your parents and your parents' friends and your cousin and maybe your second cousin twice removed friends. So then go tell everyone they know and so on and so on. Because there's power in numbers. My goodness. That was incredibly profound, Thibodeau. Well, I'm an incredibly profound fish. So listen, kid, you gonna do something about this? Or are you gonna let us redfish flounder? Ooh, man, that's a bad pun, Jimbo. Thank you, Thibodeau. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're fish. We don't get out of the water often. And your frontal lobe is much bigger than ours. You gotta use that big brain to find solutions. I'm going to find a way to make people change their ways. <laughs> Man, yeah. <sighs> but I'm getting out of breath, so we're gonna swim, cause a fish out of water can't breathe. Zach? Is that you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, I'm working on my project. Did you get a shot of that? A shot of what? Of Jimbo and Thibodeau. Jimbo and Tibahoo? Wait, never mind. Look, I've just had an enlightening experience. How enlightening? Like, I know what we can do for our video project now. Our? You're actually willing to work? Yeah, you see, I was driving my scooter and I crashed and ended up here at the waterfront. But then Jimbo and Thibodeau okay, came okay. out. Okay, okay, slow down. So, tell me about this Jimbo and Thibodeau. Well, you see, Wait, hold on. Get a shot of this. Okay, rolling. You're on. We as human beings aren't paying enough attention into what goes into our watershed, like nutrients. And too many nutrients end up here, which harms life in the waters. So we're going to make a website about the human solution to the pollution in the waters. And there are so many. Wow, Zach. That was great. <laughs> So on our site, you can view a selection of videos and even upload your own video to share with us. So go to www.mobilebaynep.com. Because there's power in numbers. <laughs> Man, yeah. Thank you.